I um, now want to actually make a phase portrait for the logistic model example. So up here I have my code from before that defines my function and plots it as a vector field along the x-axis. And if I add a semicolon to this function, that's going to suppress the output actually. So now, actually I could suppress this output too, but that's a little bit silly uh, because I want to see that vector field. And so to make the phase portrait, the phase portrait's going to be a little bit different than the vector field itself. On the vector field, the arrows have direction and length, and I'm showing multiple arrows in each kind of distinct section. What I want to do for the phase portrait is I want to find the fixed points, and I'm going to plot them on the x-axis, and then I want to kind of add one arrow in each qualitatively different section. So I want an arrow going in the positive direction somewhere in this zone, one in the negative direction here, and one in the negative direction here. I'm going to draw all those arrows as the same size. So the information in the phase portrait is like there's less information than that I have than I have in the vector field, and that's helpful because it's just kind of an efficient way to look at the information. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is find my fixed points. I want to solve for all the points um, where x equals zero and, or sorry, where f of x equals zero, where my velocity is zero, and my velocity is zero at x equals zero and x equals three. And the next thing that I want to do is we could check stability graphically, and I could check stability graphically by actually plotting f of x, and we can look at where the vector field, uh, let me just add some axis labels. Note that these are axes as opposed to a box around the whole thing. So instead of frame labels, instead of frame labels, I want ax an axes label. Sorry, I added an S. Um, it could be hard to remember the commands. I'm going to put these both in quotes. It's not so clear to me when they need to be in quotes, um, but it never hurts to put them in quotes. Okay, so the vector field's moving away and away from this fixed point, and we can see that here as well, that there's a fixed point at zero and the vector field's moving away from it, so this is an unstable fixed point, and there's a fixed point at three and the vector field is moving towards it. So I have, let me make a note of that, I'm just going to copy this text cell and edit it. There is a stable fixed point at x equals 3 and an unstable one at x equals 0. And I can also find that um, by taking the derivative. Okay, here's the derivative. And if I want to evaluate it at a point, I don't want to assign x to 0 permanently because I don't want x to be, cons the, I still want x to be able to be a variable. I don't want it to be 0. So this arrow allows me to temporarily put it to 0. So why don't I make two copies of this, one in which x is temporarily 0 and one in which is temporarily 3. And this is asking what is the slope of f with respect to x at the point zero, and what is the slope of f with respect to x at the point three? And I'm learning that at the point zero, it's positive, so we're going from below the axis to above the axis, that's an unstable fixed point. And at three, the slope is negative, we're going from above the axis to below the axis, um, so vectors are pointing towards that point. Now I'm ready to actually make the phase portrait, and the phase portrait is going to have a few components. Um, phase portrait, need a line for the x-axis, um, a circle at 0, a disk at 3, and then arrows, uh, three arrows. So I'm going to have six ingredients. So let me make the axis line first, and I'm going to do that by plotting, but just not plotting anything kind of weird, just make some axes, and let me fix my aspect ratio, and let me actually set my plot range, um, 
I want x to go from negative 1 to 4, and I want y to go from negative 0 0.1 to 0 0.1. Because I really just want us to see the line. And now, actually, like, the fact that the, the, or, the axis origin is right here is sort of messing up my labeling. I'm going to move the axis origin um, off my plot. Okay, great, uh, I'm happy with this. And maybe I'm going to add an axis label X and then nothing. Okay, cool. So now I've made the line and the next thing I wanna do is circle, circle is zero. And I happen to know that this is a graphics command and that I need the command circle and then I tell it the location of the circle and then the radius of the circle. And then I want a circle at three. Actually, I want a disc at three. So it's another graphic and it's gonna be a disc and it's gonna be a three comma zero and again, a radius of 0.1. Oh, and let me get out, take away these semicolons so that you can see the output. Okay. I'm gonna put the semicolons back because those are huge. They're not gonna be huge when I show them on my axes. So let me show these graphic item graphics items together. Okay, cool. Um, there's something a little off about exactly where my labels are, but this is great. I've got my unstable fixed point here and my stable one here. And next I'm gonna make some arrows. I think the syntax for arrows is that I go from the start point to the end point. So let's start at like negative 0 0.5 and let's go to negative 0 0.7. Oh, maybe it needs to be a list. Let's put arrow one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, computer, what are you doing? No, I'm cool, I don't wanna go to help. Okay, oh yeah, that totally worked. And now um, I'm gonna add an arrow. Arrow two is gonna point the other way. Maybe I'm gonna have it go from 1.5 to 1.7. And then let me add arrow three. Uh, it's going to go maybe from 3.5 to 3.7. No, that's the wrong direction. It's going to go from 3.7 to 3.5. Oh, I forgot to run this. Okay, now it's defined. And okay, awesome. So now I have a face portrait. It's showing the fixed points, it's showing which one is unstable and which one is stable, and it's showing the direction of the vector field in the different zones of the line. And so you can see that it's a little bit different from just plotting the vector field itself, which has these lengths and it doesn't really show the fixed points very clearly. There's kind of less information being conveyed succinctly and clearly here about what's happening in this dynamical system.